Step 2, Entangled States. So we saw in Lesson 2, Step 5, that in order to describe uh, states of many qubits, we have to use the tensor product. So for the case of qubit A and qubit E, so two qubits, we have the local state, psi A, of the qubit A, and a local state of psi B of qubit B. So for concreteness, let's say that they are 0 and 0. In order to write the global state, so the state of both qubits, we just form the tensor product, and we call this state psi AB. And in this case, it's just simply 0, 0. We can also consider a different state where A is still in 0, but B is now in a superposition of 0 and 1, which we are calling the plus state. Then again, the global state is very simple. You just form the tensor product of 0 and plus, and when you expand the plus, you can write it in the computational basis, and it's an equal super superposition of 0, 0 and 0, 1. So this is going from local states to global states. But we can also ask the reverse question. Given a global state, how do you write the local states of the qubits? In particular, we can consider the following global state, which we have encountered in the CHSH game in the previous step. So it's an equal superposition of 0, 0 and 1, 1. So what are the local states of qubit A and qubit B? Let's write it out we can write a general uh, state of uh, qubit A as a superposition of 0 and 1 with a probability amplitudes A0 and A1. And same for qubit B, where the probability amplitudes for state uh, 0 are, is B0 and for state 1 is B1. And just to remind ourselves that the uh, global state that we are looking for is the following, 0, 0 plus 1, 1. So let's form a tensor product of Psi A with Psi B. We write it out like this and we expand the brackets. And what we in fact get is the following. We get four terms. We got probability amplitudes for every computational basis term. We've got A0, B0 for state 0, 0, uh, A0, B1 for the state 0, 1, uh, A1, B0 for 1, 0, and A1, B1 for 1, 1. So, when we compare this general state, this tensor product of A and B, with our global state, we see that uh, A0 and B0 has to be equal to A1 and B1. And they have to be 1 over square root of 2. Okay, so that's requirement number one. Requirement number two is that in the global state, we don't have any contributions to the superposition from these terms, 0, 1 and 1, 0. So we require that A0, B1 is equal to A1, B0, and that is equal to 0. So let's look at the second uh, requirement first. We can see that A0 is, must be 0 or B1 must be 0. But if we set A0 to 0 and then go back to requirement 1, then we see that A0 times B0 will also be 0 and will not satisfy requirement 1. So A0 cannot be 0. So we go to uh, B1 equal to 0. And again, we see by going back to requirement 1 that even B1 cannot be equal to 0. So did we make a mistake somewhere? In fact, no. It's just a contradiction and it's just the property of uh, this particular state that we are trying to find uh, local states for. In fact, not all global states can be written as a tensor product of local states. And this is the definition of entangled states. So we have two major classes of states. We've got product states, which can be written as a tensor product of local states. So given some local states, Psi A and Psi B, we can easily find the global state just by forming the tensor product. And this implies that perfect knowledge of local states, remember, cats represent states of per where we have perfect knowledge of uh, what the state is in. So perfect knowledge of global states implies perfect knowledge of local states. And then we've got the other class of, entangled, uh, of quantum states, which are entangled. And these states are such that the glo their global states cannot be written as tensor product of local states, as it's written here. So in the previous example, we have demonstrated that for an equal superposition of 0, 0 and 1, 1, this is in fact the case. There are no cats 
uh, no local cats, Psi A and Psi B, such that when we take them and form a tensor product, we get the global state back. And this is very interesting because this implies that uh, we only have the perf perfect knowledge of the global state, but we have somehow imperfect knowledge of local states.